Hey guys, it's Lexi. So today I am doing this really, really pretty um, French braided updo. And I know a lot of you have proms coming up and weddings and all that kind of stuff. A lot of my subscribers have been saying, oh, what are you going to do for your prom? And to be honest, I have no idea. I'm kind of in the experimenting stage of my prom. So this is a hairstyle that is definitely a contender. So let me show you the hairstyle. What I did was I curled my hair using my Conair um, curling wand. And I just wanted to say that I want to make sure that you only hold the hair on this wand for no more than eight seconds, um, especially if it's on the um, three, 360, because let me tell you, it gets so hot. And I know a girl that burnt her hair off. So just really make sure that you're careful with that. Um, but anyway, for this hairstyle, all you will need is bobby pins, um, a teasing comb, a little bit of hairspray, and a couple of little mini rubber bands. I feel like I already said that. Well, whatever. If I said it twice, I said it twice. So here is the bang part, and I just kind of swoop my bangs back using hairspray, and they kind of also go in to my French braid, which starts right about here. So this is what the side looks like and it goes it's the French braid that goes right into um, a pretty pretty bun and the other thing I love about this hairstyle is it took me like I think seven minutes to film the whole thing and I think I'm only gonna show you five because that's all you're gonna need so this hairstyle is perfect if you're either in a pinch or you know you just don't want to have to worry about your hair on prom this is the perfect hairstyle so I hope you guys like it and continue watching if you would like to see how to do this tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is actually tease your crown. I know a lot of people don't like teasing and you can skip this step, but I find that my hair doesn't look um, as full and voluminous as I would like it to. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and tease the crown area a bit. So I'm just going to do that right in there. Um, you really don't want to pull too much of the curls out at this point. The next thing that you're going to do is take your hands and kind of run your fingers through the curls. Um, when I had curled my hair, I had curled it so um, it was in still in sections. Like a lot of times I run my hands through right after and I did not do that this time. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take a section of hair about this much and it kind of goes into the part you just teased and just lightly kind of pull it back and separate it into three and then I'm going to go ahead and put over the top this hair in and that goes over that one so you're just doing a regular um, French braid so I'm going to pick up some hair again kind of loosely going over the top now like you can see my bangs are kind of coming down and we're gonna fix that later alrighty so once I've got to the end I've got this little curl right here great um, but anyway once I've gotten to the end I'm going to take a um, large little mini rubber band um, and I'm going to tie the hair at the end Go ahead and pull from the top, pull up. And again, do that again, just pull the top pieces. All right, just like that. The next thing is you kind of can just loosen um, the braid a little bit so you know it's not so tight. And then I'm going to take my ponytail here, and again, take my teasing comb, and I'm going to tease it just to um, give it a little more body to work with. And then I'm going to just kind of move it around and fix it to where I'm going to like it. And then I'm going to take another, um, you can either use a large rubber band or in this case I'm using a medium size rubber band and just put that around your little bun here. 
And this is just to hold the shape. As you can see, it would kind of fall down if I were to leave it like that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my hair in all different kinds of directions here, twirl some pieces, and then just start pinning. Um, this is really the part where you can get fun with it and pin the pieces where you want. I oftentimes like to have a mirror behind me and um, use the back of the mirror to help me see what pieces I'm twisting or you know maybe I don't like a piece and how it looks. So when you're all done it should look something kind of like this. And I haven't seen it yet so it could look really bad at this point but when I am all done with the hairstyle, I take a mirror and I look in the back, then I will fix it. Now I love how my bangs are going here. They're kind of going to the side. And how I did that was I curled my hair under. Um, in the front here, I curled it underneath. So here's the curling iron. I took a piece and I wrapped it around going this way underneath. And then the curls kind of just nicely go back. And I'm just going to take some hairspray, make sure I hairspray the top um, so I don't lose that look. And then that is pretty much it. You can pull some hairs out to give it a more messy look. And then you have this really, really pretty um, updo. And this is the top, the side, and the back. So yep, that is it for this tutorial. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you like this uh, hairstyle. If you'd like to see more, um, visit my website, simplebraidhairstyles.com, my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram. I think that's it, I think that's everything. So that's all in the down bar below. So make sure you check all that out and I will see you next time.